Hey, hello everyone, I hope that you are doing well. So I'm together with Sven. <laughs> and uh, in fact, there is something just behind you that's something interesting. Look, there is a uh, called uh, the dogs. Uh, there is a shop for dogs that will clean the dogs. Uh, when I first came to China in year 2005, 2006, there was none. And now they are all over. All over the place you can see these kind of shops that they will take care of your dog and clean the dog. It's, it's crazy, right? And uh, once I heard, uh, I, 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 I never met the guy, but I heard of a French guy who came to China and he opened 10 shops like this, 10. And I also heard some, I know one French guy who opened three hairdressers salon. So that's, that's very specific, like, you know, you have some specificity, you have some know-how. And these guys, they have the specific skills. Then uh, why did they go to China? Because there was the market and it was growing. And for them, it was quite easy to open. Like if you open this kind of, of shop now, there is too much competition in France. But uh, if you do it in China, I guess today there is still too much competition. But like three, four years ago, uh, it was the perfect timing and you had the skills that nobody else had and maybe today I want to ask you do you think um, in China you need nerves of steel what does it mean nerves of steel it means uh, every day you will get pressure on yourself and uh, so we are waiting for the bus here uh, it's not our bus 72 because some of you here uh, you, you, you ask me to discuss this, this topic that is that in Okay, I will talk to you. So here is something also interesting that you you have the bus number and then you can see uh, when it's going to come. Because on the bus, uh, what they will have is they have uh, like kind of GPS, and this is quite new. And of course, they should have it. They should have this in China, but they never have it. I'm not sure why. I think it's a lack of organization. This is very modern. Like you know exactly how long am I going to wait for this bus, and uh, even you have to wait then. Uh, uh, at least you know you know what to expect you see at least you know what to expect like uh, for instance when you when you are in China you never know what to expect sometimes you will go to the restaurant and say yes and then after you go there oh we don't have it sorry oh the bus doesn't come in fact you know so you, after you've been waiting for I don't know how long then the time is no expectation uh, I, I think that's that too I, I will discuss the topic next time with you about what about nerves of steel in China is it difficult do, do you believe uh, if you live in China, you believe it's difficult and you feel so much pressure every day, uh, you will get mad. Uh, let me illustrate. Uh, it depends on how you think about the situation. No, no, no. no. You get let, mad by yourself. You yes, but there is yourself. a pressure from the environment every day. No. You know, once I had a one subscriber... Be, you cannot change the world. Yeah. The so world one not one subscriber is very difficult. You. Is, you know, it's very difficult to stay there in the longer run. You cannot stay there, you will get crazy at some point. Uh, you know, uh, uh, just I want to illustrate. Um, uh, th today I was uh, filling in the form for the visa, okay? You will get crazy because you don't accept. Sure, you cannot accept the noise, you cannot accept the, the, the people who push you all the time, you cannot accept the speeding. You, accept you, can, you can do else. Uh, but you cannot accept that's so, uh, all because you are not you you were not raised in this kind of environment even Chinese people cannot accept it you know they don't accept it they get crazy themselves uh, you know we are we we have a body huh? the people are not supposed to live in uh, cities that are too huge with too much pollution with too many cars with too much noise and then there's the environment and then there's the education the part of the education then there's the pressure from life how much money you make how many hours you need to work each day you know and of course there's a lot of pressure in China much more than anywhere else you know and uh, let, let me tell you something to illustrate to so that's very funny today when I was uh, I was filling in the form uh, you know, I was filling in the form for the visa and the first thing that they asked me, they asked me, do you have any um, uh, mental disease? And they ask you this, do you have any mental disease? Why do they ask you this, you know, honestly? <laughs> and then they ask you, do you have any uh, viral disease or some kind of things? Do you have AIDS? They ask you this, do you have any mental disease? That's the first question they ask you, do you have mental disease? You know, if they ask you this, it means because there are many people who get crazy there. And that's the topic I discuss. It's not specific to China, in India also. Okay. Well, anyway, I will discuss with my friend uh, Fran François from the Philippines. So I, by the way, uh, got something I want to tell you. You know, François, I will write down his channel. He's a guy um, who, uh, who lives in the Philippines. 
and uh, he has been in, in China for about so many years, maybe he spent 10 years or 10 years or 15 years in China. Then he was in Taiwan, then he moved to Vietnam and now he lives in the Philippines. And this guy has a very good experience. Uh, he's uh, used to be in the army, in the South African uh, Special Force. So I, I really recommend if you don't know his channel, just go there and follow the channel. And that's our bus anyway. So. Okay, okay. You go from the back door. Okay. I cannot do this. Uh, Let's see you. Thank you.